um, policy related work for a couple of years. We built a teacher advisory council, which was a, a cool project where um, we brought together 21 uh, teachers from around the district. And these teachers went through some education, you know, learning about some different policy issues like teacher evaluation and, and so on. And then this group had the ear of the superintendent and the union president, not as a decision-making group, but um, a group of teachers that represented all regions of the district, all levels, different programs and so on, so that they could get some informed insight from educators before making high stakes decisions. So that was the type of work I was doing. And then um, I decided that I wasn't all that interested in continuing um, with the policy related work. I was really interested in the leadership opportunities and definitely committed to staying in the classroom. And so at the time, um, my school at the time was going through some transformation. It, it was becoming what was called an international school. And so we have 10 schools in our district that are designated international schools. Um, so 10% of our schools roughly. And what that means um, at the elementary level, all the five elementary international schools all have dual language immersion programs in either Spanish or Mandarin or Japanese. Um, but at the same time, while language is a big part of it, we also have tried to have a whole school approach with a, an intentional vision in our international schools here of developing global citizenship um, skills and competencies in our students. So there's a lot of work to be done in my school and in the district around what does it even mean to be an international school? Um, how do we build a shared vision? How do we demonstrate that so people really get it and feel part of it? And so um, I went back to folks at Center for Teaching Quality and I said, well, here's what I'd like to do. Um, I'd like to keep working in a hybrid role and I'd like my non-teaching time to focus on global education or international education. And I have some I big ideas for um, large scale projects that, that I would coordinate um, in my school and my district and, and so on. And